Delta State is now home to its own teaching hospital, the Delta State University Teaching Hospital. Located in O'Hara, Dalsuth officially opened its doors to patients a year ago and can boast of top-of-the-range equipment such as MRI machines and a dialysis centre, to mention a few. This is our 64 slice CT scan. I think it's one among uh, about four in the nation now. Because there uh, used to be only two, but now some more people have acquired uh, two in the north, one in Ibadan and one here. And it's all digitalized. It gets uh, very accurate uh, CT scan and it gets the body parts in more details. A six bedded uh, ICU unit with six ventilators, which are all um, functional and um, we use it for patients who cannot support their respiration and patients who have altered mental status, we intubate them and the machine takes over their breathing while we try to get them better and then drop them from the acute care to the lower dependent area. And uh, all the oxygens and everything comes out and they're all monitored uh, individually. And then we have one or two rooms on that side, which is isolation. So you can see the ventilators and the monitors on each of the bed attached to each of them. Magnetic resonance imaging machine and it's a 0.36 Tesla. It works with the principle of magnetism, mainly to visualize soft tissue structures. If you feel like there is a space occupying lesion and you want to really know what uh, pattern it's presenting, MRI is a very good imaging modality to see this lesion we are talking about. Um, um, a CT must have been done before you begin to talk about the MRI. So the MRI helps to see uh, soft tissue structures that helps to make correct diagnosis. This is an ultrasound machine. It has the feature of a Doppler. He can visualize blood vessels to know if there are occlusion, if some mass masses are vascular. Again, it has probes, different probe sizes. You have as low as 2.5 to 10 megahertz. We can use it for infants, neonates. We can use it for structures like um, the brain in neonates. We can also do small parts, small parts such as breasts, the testes, the thyroid, uh, the prostate. We also have uh, an attachment of a printer that can print images. So we are so lucky to have this kind of uh, ultrasound machine here because of the magnitude of diagnosis it can make on a patient. Dr. Carlo Obureke is the Chief Medical Director of Delsuth. He is also the hospital's consultant pediatrician and a neonatologist. Uh, on the 25th of January this year, we got accreditation for the medical school, which means that for the first time, Delta State will graduate its own medical doctors from its own university uh, in September this year. This place, it has the potential to change the way we deliver healthcare in Nigeria because it has started something that is unique and that no other state in Nigeria, not even the federal government, uh, has been able to do. It has the potential because it started off with a system that is unique. And that is because all the time we're, we're talking about our best brains, our skilled manpower, our skilled uh, uh, um, uh, people, uh, going to the to to going going overseas, uh, they acquire more skills and they stay there. So, um, the the thought of bringing back Nigerian specialists to come and help set up a hospital like this, I think, is something uh, that is really commendable. Um, we have set up the place in the sense that patients. Uh, come uh, and receive uh, services. Um, the most important task facing this uh, 
uh, monumental project is to maintain and continue to build on what has been achieved. Overhauling its medical services is a huge undertaking for any administration, but it is one that the Delta State government has met with enthusiasm. It is a pleasant surprise, really, for all of us, uh, the state government and everybody, that we could do so much. Because uh, hitherto, one conception was that, oh, given the large population of Deltas, uh, over four million people, and um, the amount of uh, care you give to the pregnant women, their population, and the children under five, who form the bulk of health care um, patients, you know, patients in the health industry. Uh, you, you almost thought that we'll spend so much. But with the, so with the amount budgeted, prudently spent, we've been able to meet convincingly all, the, all that was necessary. We also found out that the population notwithstanding, with adequate care, you don't have a repetition of one ailment coming again and again and again. And so all in all, it's a pleasant surprise. Government has coped extremely very well.